tween seen June's kits. Hi tweens, welcome to our first kit of the summer. Today you're going to be creating a DIY paddle boat. In your bag you should receive a paddle boat kit that includes the directions for how to assemble it, some rubber bands, the boat itself, a couple of pieces of the paddle wheels, and the rubber bands. Also in your kit you're going to need your foam paintbrush and your paints. Today we'll be using, you can use the red, yellow, and blue paints. Save the green for later when we do cactus rocks. The first thing you're going to do before you assemble your paddle boat is to get your area set for painting. You may need a uh, paper plate or paper towel or something down and decide what patterns and colors you want to use on your paddle boat. I'm going to use blue because I want to cover up the uh, stamp from the manufacturer because blue is a nice dark color. And you're going to want to go ahead and paint your first three sides and let it dry. You should have plenty of paint to give it a nice thick coat. And you can do designs and stripes and whatever. But I like the look of a solid colored paint. So I'm going to make sure that I get all the different little nooks and crannies of my boat, the outsides. But I'm going to wait to do the underneath uh, till the top coat is dry so that I don't have it sticking to my paper plate. Give it a little bit more here. Going to get the inside of the where the paddle wheel will go. And the rubber bands will connect, making sure that's well covered. And the ends. And I'm going to let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to make sure to clean my brush really well. Because I'll reuse that brush uh, the rest of this month. All right, after I've cleaned my brush, I'm going to paint my paddles red. So these will stand up on their own. So I'm going to paint again all three sides, all the sides except for the part that's going to be standing up, giving it a nice coat of red. You're going to want to make sure you don't get too much paint in the notch because it may, could make it difficult to fit them together later. And there's one. Try and get that to stand up now so it can dry. If you lean it up against anything, make sure it's okay, something that's okay to get paint on. And there 
here's the other paddle. I'm going to let those dry and wash my brush out really well. Okay, washed my brush again and my top coat for my boat is paint, is uh, dry. And so I'm going to paint the bottom now. And nice and thick, so that it covers up most of the stamp from the manufacturer. And I can let that dry. All right. Now, I know that I only gave you blue, yellow, and red, but if you want a different color, remember you can always mix your colors to create new ones. You can have, let's see, you can have uh, blue and red makes purple, blue and yellow makes green, yellow and red makes orange, and of course, blue and yellow make green. All right, everything is dried. My brush is clean. And now I can fit my paddles into their notches like that to make a kind of a cross shape. And I got a little too much paint in there, so it's a, a tight fit and I had to really give it a good squeeze to, to make that connect like that. And it should hold together on its own. Now this last part is the trickiest part. You're going to take both your rubber bands and kind of um, wrap them around your, the middle there. And then you're going to set your paddle into the center of your boat. Take the end of one rubber band and hook it over your notch on your boat. And this can be a little bit tricky. You might need an adult to help. like that, and then the other rubber band goes in the other notch, and then you're set to go. You need to wind it up. You're going to twist your paddle in one direction or the other, and then you can let go. And that should propel your boat forward. So you can twist it backwards or forwards depending on what direction you want your boat to go. Just be careful twisting it that you don't twist too hard that you snap the rubber bands. But it can twist in either direction. And there you have it, tweens. A DIY paddle boat. See you next time.